Right, here's the sawhorse, and I've got Reem here. Now, you guys are using this on the 1920s makeover house, and we're using this because we're going to the passive house. It has to be all electric. We're getting rid of combustion. But you said not only do you have this, which is good for installing when you're designing the house and like putting it in the first place, but you guys have something new in 2023. So can you tell us a little about this version of the Proterra and, and why? Like, why do we have a cord here? What is this doing? This is the Proterra plug-in. It's the newest in the Proterra line. It's designed for gas to electric conversions, especially in older homes where you may not have the space in your uh, in your electrical panel to upgrade to a full uh, to a full Proterra. This way, you would ju just remove your old gas water heater, install this as normal, and it all it requires is a 110 volt plug. This one actually runs on a shared circuit, so it does not have to be the only thing on the circuit. And we use a mixing valve to lower the temperature to make sure that uh, it stays at a safe level to avoid scalds. So what are the challenges that we have, especially you mentioned something very important, the load management on the house. So if, you, if you're designing a new house, we've got a lot of builders here at the Builder Show, there's a lot of pushback on like bringing extra power to the house or increasing load because it's gonna cost a little bit more. But the retrofit cost of upgrading the panel later is much more expensive. So I'm, I'm telling builders, like, listen, electric is the way of the future. If they have gas right now, don't necessarily de-future proof the house, future proof it. Give us a couple, a little more space on the panel so you can upgrade some of these appliances later. Because they want to go gas now, I get it. You guys sell gas as well. Electric is better, but like, what, what, like, how much space should people be leaving on the panel if they are going to future-proof the house for something like this, well, if or you for, were for this one, I mean. That takes a 30-amp uh, double-pole uh, circuit. If you if you don't have that space or it would be a long run, this is a, a perfect replacement because this doesn't require any extra amperage. At most, running a standard outlet to the closet where it may be. With heat pumps, you need to make sure they have enough ambient air in the room because they breathe room air and exhaust Got into it. the room. So they should have about 700 cubic feet, but you can achieve that through a louver door or using the, the built-in ducting capability to bring in outside air or exhaust it outside the room. And I heard you talking to my friend Chip Wade earlier, and uh, you guys shot a, a video with him. If you guys want to see that video, it's in the upper right-hand corner. But you mentioned that the uh, garage and hot places are good for this. I've got a good story from this one uh, real estate agent. He says he's got an electric car. He put this in his garage, and what it does is it keeps his garage cool enough where he can actually have his electric car in there because it doesn't have like a way to self-cool. So his water heater is actually cooling off the electric car. I'm not sure if you've heard that before. I have heard the exact same anecdote from someone in Arizona where the garage is super hot and the exhaust from his Proterra keeps the garage at a low enough temperature that the battery cooling doesn't come on. And it makes sense. I mean, we're a song one of these in my garage just to keep it cool during the summer. So, all right. Well, anything else exciting about these that we need to know about? It's a best of a best of IBS finalist. Ooh, congratulations. <laughs> Now, now, I know in the, the original Proterra, you can control it with your phone as well. So if you, you've got that vacation setting, I'm in Vegas right now. I got a call from one of my tenants. He's saying that there's an issue. I had to call my plumber out there. Well, if it's a water heater, water heater issue, you can actually, isn't there like a um, way to tell if your water heater is leaking? Absolutely. The, both Proterras, as well as a number of our other products, use Econet, which is okay. Ring's proprietary uh, app solution. Uh, you can control the temperature. You can receive alerts if there ever is anything wrong. Uh, you can also use the scheduling function, and you can switch modes in the Proterra. Oh, wow. So you can, in the main Proterra, you can switch to heat pump only mode or hybrid modes that balance the heat pump with electric backup for high high usage times. Uh, the other thing that's great about the scheduling function is in areas where you have time of use pricing, where your prices yeah. jump up significantly at certain times of the day, you can use the scheduling function to overheat before that and then leave your unit off during the peak times and then have it recover after. So another right. money saving option. And I know some of your other models are super insulated. I'm assuming there's a lot of insulation here. Like how many degrees per hour are you probably losing in something like this? Like one or two? Less than one, way yeah, less so, than one. So you, you can heat it in off peak and not have to worry about you it. You can actually see if you, on the other side, if you shoot it in a minute, the, the, you can see the inch, the density of the foam. It's about two inches thick, Got it. That's maybe awesome. more. Well, I appreciate your time. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video, and I want to thank all of the vendors that I've been interviewing at the International Builder Show and also KBiz for providing this amazing information. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, and we're going to 
create more content just like this, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get more information. Now, if you guys have specific questions on any of these products, what you do is like leave a comment in the section below and I'll take it back to the manufacturer, ask that question and get a response from you and probably create a video response just for that. So appreciate all the people that have subscribed and supported us throughout the years and manufacturers as well. So thanks again and see you guys next time.